Hi there, I'm Miss Trich and welcome to Social Emotional Learning, where every video I'll be reading a book that you can read along with your child at home. And each book identifies a different emotion that your child might be feeling, but not quite sure how to regulate those emotions or how to cope. So in these videos, I'll be reading a different book from each set. So there are eight of them. The most in today's story, I will be reading A Little Spot of Anger, a story about managing big emotions, written and illustrated by Diane Alber. Hi, I'm a peaceful spot. I'm here to help you calm down an angry spot when one shows up. What's an angry spot? An angry spot is also known as anger. Anger is one of the many emotions we can experience every day. Other emotions are sadness and anxiety too. We all have these emotions inside of us, but we feel the best when we are in our peaceful spot. Here we have sadness, anger, and anxiety. These two books will be covered in the next few videos. It's good to have small spots of emotions, but when they get too big, you don't feel very good. So I'm here to show you how to calm your big angry spots down to a very peaceful little size like me. Your angry spot can show up when you are feeling frustrated, afraid, or hurt. When you are calm, it is easier to manage this strong emotion. And I know of a special trick to get your angry spot to calm down. Want to see? Yes, please. Let me see your hand. Now imagine four red dots are on your fingers and one green spot is on your thumb, just like this. Now repeat after me. Count the spots from one to four, tap, 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 and tap once more. So this is your hand, you can do a few things. You can do tap each side. So count the spots from one to four, tap, 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 and tap once more. Or what you can also do is take your palm and trace them as you do this. Count the spots from one to four, tap, 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 and tap once more. Now fill your lungs with peaceful air and count your spots with love and care. Now that you know what to do, let's take a look at some situation when your anger spot shows up. Well, this looks familiar. Remember when you tried to do something new and it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to? This can be very frustrating. Look how big the angry spot becomes. I can't draw. Ah! So when you feel like yelling, you should do this trick instead? Exactly. Once you begin counting, you are telling your angry spot that it's time to calm down and get smaller. So here we go again. When you feel angry, for some reason, maybe you can't draw something, grab out your hand and do the song with me. Count the spots from one to four, tap, 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 and tap once more. Now fill your lungs with peaceful air and cap coach your spots with love and care. Look how the peaceful air really cools down an angry spot. I feel so much better. Everyone has their own style of art and I can't compare myself to others. I'm still learning and it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm so glad I'm peaceful again. Oh dear, here's another situation where an angry spot gets too big. I know when someone takes your toy, it can make you feel afraid that you may never see it again. That's my toy. Get it back. Instead of stomping your feet or growling, try and calm your angry spot down. Once you are calm, you will see that she isn't trying to be mean. She's just trying to play. Here we go again, grab those fingers. Count the spots from one to four, tap, 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 and tap once more. It's working. The angry spot is already half its size. Now fill your lungs with peaceful air and coach your spots with love and care. When you are calm, it is easier to handle any situation. Why did you take my dinosaur? I thought we were playing chase the dinosaur. Let's look at some other situations when an angry spot shows up. Like when you feel hurt because you think you have lost your favorite toy. Where is my dinosaur? It's in the toy bin. Your angry spot made it harder to find. Or when you try to make a masterpiece, but something spills. 
Sometimes your angry spot makes it hard to see the wonderful thing you created. Once your angry spot is calm, you will see that you actually made amazing splatter art. When you are calm, it's easier to look at any situation in a positive way. Remember, you have the power to calm your angry spot down and make it into a peaceful spot. One more time. Count the spots from one to four. Tap, 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 and tap once more. Now fill your lungs with peaceful air and coat your spots with love and care. So here's a little tip. It says you can imagine your own spots or cut them out of construction paper and tape them to your fingers. You can also get real spot stickers to in bulk on this website if you order them online here. What I do in my class is I have a printed version that I made where students can use this in the calm corner in the classroom. So if they're feeling angry, they can do the exercise. But this is really easy to do at home. Even if you don't have a paper, you can just do it with your fingers. I like to have this to help my students remember the way to calm yourself. And that's all for today. Thank you for joining me for a little spot of anger. Stay tuned for our next emotion.